segment, the live sessions, where I have got my guest in studio, Lisa O'Dwar. Let me just tell you, she has come so highly recommended to me. Like, you've got to get her. You cannot believe. And everybody I was asking, they're like, what? You're going to get her? You're going to get her? We've heard of her. Okay, okay. So, you know, no pressure, none. I, I'm, I'm trying not to feel any pr- I hope you're not feeling pressure yourself. No, no, I'm all right. <laughs> Lisa, thank you so much for coming <laughs> in. Thank you for having me, Joe. Oh, man. So, I, I'm serious. You've come so highly recommended. Oh, that's so nice. And I heard so much <laughs> about the fact that I had to have you on the show. Oh. These people, who are these people? I, don't you, don't you have fans, girl? I mean, I'd hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how I think that's how the word came. Right, right. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about you and your journey. Let's start from the very beginning. When, how? Wow. Yeah. Um, so I used to. I learned how to sing by sitting in front of the TV, um, watching videos come through. So Mariah Carey over here, <laughs> always be my baby. That was me. In the, I said, wow, these are nice things. I like the tunes. It's good. So for a long time, that's how I learned. And then at some point, it hit where my sister and my brother, uh, my eldest sister and brother, used to bring music home. And you know, CDs and how yeah. I think Puff Daddy was really big at that time. And I'm a 90s kid. So uh, they came in and they showed me Indie RE. And <laughs> I was like, whoa, this is really good. And um, acoustic Soul hit me and uh, what's the second called Voyage to India and mm-hmm. my heart was taken by music and I've loved singing ever since um, I come from a family which dabbles in music in the sense of like my parents used to sing in choirs and all of that growing up but then I never really knew and I didn't know my dad used to play guitar a long time ago and then now here I am all these years later and I used to sing throughout high school um, I wanted to study music. I didn't think I would, so I started doing psychology, and then I ended up nice. at Berkeley. Um, you ended up at Berkeley? Yes. From studying psychology <laughs> to Berkeley. It, it's a weird <laughs> jump, I tell you. <laughs> it's a weird jump. Um, I've worked with amazing people in the Kenyan music industry, guys like Neman Talil, Blinky Bill. Um, oh, Blinky's a fair bunch of people, uh, Temi, uh, many different people. So I sing backgrounds, and then, um, you know, Kato, Change, mm. mm-hmm. who became my first collaborator I think one of the first biggest ones that I've had um, with a track called Staccato mm-hmm. and from there I don't know it just progressed and then I ended up at Berkeley and now I'm, I graduated last year Did we hear one of your original compositions yes, actually, this morning yes definitely what can we, we listen to so there's a song called uh, Kidogo Kidogo yeah it's actually written with Newman okay it's about how <laughs> the same thing we're all about this love story so when mm-hmm. someone comes too quickly they approach you too much and you're like wow this is overwhelming mm-hmm. so I said just love me slowly um, so this is Kidogo Okay. Still love me, just slowly. Yes, just take me at my pace. You okay. So you don't break with me like I have before on 
on this path. Ni pende, ni pende, kidogo, kidogo. So you know just how shallow I am. Oh, no, kidogo, kidogo. So you don't break with me like I have before. Okay, I've been standing through half the <laughs> performance. We're going to see this. I think Leah's been laughing at me. <laughs> it's okay, girl. You could put all those shots. <laughs> I am in love with that song. I'm, I'm sorry. That's your official first single. I chose it right now. I, am, I don't know. I mean, I don't know about anybody else. I don't know. I don't care about nobody else's views right now. Thank Yo. You. Thank you. You just, I'm, I'm done. I. Y'all could bring me some cake. Y'all could bring her some cake. Right. Do whatever you want. Just give her a award already. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love thank the fusion you. of Swahili, yes. Luo. Yes. That was Luo, yes? Yes, ma'am. And English. Yes. I, 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 get, I fall in love when I hear the different languages. Thank you. Because music has absolutely no boundaries. So yes. when you were singing in Luo, I didn't understand the words, but I felt it. Oh, man. Right? Yes. I understand Swahili. So that, but for somebody who's not a Swahili speaker, yeah. they would still feel it. And of course, the English, even if you're not an English speaker, you'd mm-hmm. still feel the energy exactly. in that song. It just fused. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. 